Now we're ready. Set to sprint and away and racing. They got them away to a good start. Red Hot Rose just took an awkward step at the start over there. Lincoln Navigator, Chocolate Bomb, very quick to respond. Ethernate is down the left-hand side. Super awesome. Then came Axel Collins and behind that, time for Orchids. Super awesome racing behind those. Red Hot Rose and at the back end of the field is Dr. Faustus as they race down with about 600 meters left to go. Ethernator, Chocolate Bomb, Lincoln Navigator, time for Orchids. Bang in the race now, gets right up there too. Further back to Axel Collins, Red Hot Rose, and behind that, super awesome. But it's time for Orchids, who gallop strongly down to the last 200 under the hands here by two from Ethanator in second. Then came Lincoln Navigator, and behind that, Axel Collins. But here is time for Orchids, just being driven out to a well-earned victory. Time for Orchids, five, six lengths, hardly pressed. Time for Orchids, beats home Lincoln Navigator. Third was close, Red Hot Rose involved there with Axel Collins. And behind that, Dr. Faustus, Ethanator, Chocolate Bomb, and Super Awesome. Dr. Faustus also had to come from near last. In fact, was dead last going into the final 200 metres. But it's an easy win for Time for Orchids. She was rated to win this, the daughter of Time Thief. She's come through with an easy win. She was bred at the Madison Park Stud. And uh, one can't help but feel that uh, Johan kept the race alive by nominating as many as he could here for this horse. Time for Orchids to come through and win. Well, it is uh, going uh, from uh, good to better, and it's still could get even uh, much, 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 uh, much better for the Yuan Yuan Zee from Fear and Stable. But uh, here's the man himself. He told me with uh, no nonsense, uh, no nonsense approach. Anything I'm on, give a winning chance to. But this was uh, something else. Nice win, nice uh, stable debut. Yes, uh, big thanks uh, to Yuan. Obviously, uh, when you look at her form, uh, I've sat on her once, first time out, and. Uh, you know, uh, Mr. S uh, the previous uh, yard that had her uh, has just said, you know, just ride her with a lot of confidence, and uh, uh, that she she tends to take time. But uh, if you rush her, obviously the, you're not going to get in much of her. And uh, I just obviously let her do her own way, and she fleshed up, won quite a nice race. And uh, obviously, I think I spoke with uh, Johan on uh, Saturday. He said, hey, "Are you writing something for me?" So I said, "Oh wow!" And I had a look. Uh, I said, "Oh, I won on the first time." And he said, "Oh, okay. Let's hope uh, uh, you continue." So uh, uh, we got in the ring today. Uh, he said, "Listen." Uh, um, she hasn't done much, but uh, he thinks uh, uh, she, she she's quite nice, and uh, we have to just jump her out and uh, allow her to use her action. And you know, if there is something going faster, just follow through. And uh, obviously today we 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 came out, but uh, the speed was quite a sort of like um, uh, very on and. Uh, I said, let me rather follow them for a few furlongs. And then uh, I think it's about uh, approaching the 450 and I could allow her to uh, to make her way through. And uh, from then onwards, she was just doing the rest. And, uh, you know, there's still plenty in there. I think uh, if I would have shaken it up a little bit more, she would have changed legs and give me a gain. So, but, uh, you know, uh, we always want them to win as, much, as comfortable as they can and then we can come back and uh, have a, a great uh, race feature for her too. So, yeah. Uh, big thanks again to uh, the owners, Rakesh. Um, you know, he, he, he sort of like really likes his feelings, so it's always nice that uh, um, they can get back uh, to uh, to what we were before. You know, the, she always shown uh, great talents uh, at home, and uh, you know, you know, as a trainer and owner, you know that uh, the the feel is quite nice, and uh, all of a sudden she doesn't hold up the form. You know, it's just show. You, you know, you have to just keep faith, and uh, they will always bounce back. And she already she did. So again, my sponsors, Morris Fontaine for Hobos Drift. Well done to them, and to the grooms. They are really, really working hard uh, with the horses, and you know they enjoy this and as much as we do. So be well done to them. Bling fans. Whoop whoop. Right, just before you go, you tend to tend to run away. I mean, it's like I've already <laughs> <laughs> I want to set a, a trap for you there. Race seven. That next win is overdue for you. Last time out, uh, yes, uh, you had uh, your own uh, thoughts about the uh, race itself, how it panned out, but that is history. Let's put that behind us. Today, are you confident, as confident as we, you were before that last race? 
um, is really going to take a, a, a really, really well-prepared host to uh, to beat him. And I really think, uh, he, you know, from the, the I went home and I put a leg over him just to understand a little bit more of him, and uh, I was impressed. So I really think he's my really, really best rider on the day. So uh, playing fans of the follow, that's the one. Thank you so much, my brother. And thank you very much to you, Johan. You did tell us about the well-being of the horse and uh, basically you expected a good showing. And uh, I think uh, the punters really appreciate that. Uh, it's a pleasure. She actually won better than I thought. Um, I thought a class would pull her through. Like I said, I didn't do terribly amount of work, a terrible amount of work with her. Um, but yeah, it just shows you sometimes we, we overdo horses. Um, yeah, I mean, I've won many races that I come into races thinking they need a bit more work and, and they've won really well. So yeah, I'm just super happy for Akesh. Um, he phoned me uh, just before last run. He said he's going to leave the filly, move, filly with me for a couple of runs. I was very excited because I remember seeing this filly win. Uh, I think it was a debut run with Mr. Terry, and she won really well, and she was very, very fast. And um, I was excited. I spoke to Kevin Wright. He had her for a while, and he, he after his last run, he said, "Yeah, don't be scared to try the filly in a thousand. And funny enough, I spoke to Anton Mar Marcus quite recently, and um, he's good friends with Rakesh, and he said to me, don't be scared to put the filly in a thousand. He obviously watches a lot of Rakesh's horses. So yeah, when I saw this race in the program, it just looked like the right opportunity at the weights and um, to try and get the filly some conf confidence get some confidence back because um, she's done some really good races in her career, but she's still a one-time winner. And um, I actually couldn't believe it because obviously I've seen the filly running feature race and things like that. And when I actually analyzed the form, when I eventually got her after her last run, I saw she was a one-time winner. It was really hard to believe because she's a, she's a name that, that we all know in racing. So um, yeah, listen, I'm just super happy. Samanga so Rolawali got her at the gate. She was still a little bit sluggish. Maybe you can work on that a little bit, get her out better. Um, but she's got a nice turn of foot, which I've been told by numerous people. And um, I think he was, the force on his outside was irritating him. Um, so that's why he, he probably sent her a bit, bit early, get her away away from it also that was hanging on to him. So yeah, great great thinking by Samanga, great race riding by, by Samanga. You make those calls in the middle of the race. Um, good decision by him. And yeah, like I said, super happy for Akesh. He's in Australia. And um, I think he's also got a share in the second horse. So yeah, one, two for Akesh and, and super happy for my team and, and myself. You've been up to the uh, peak of a trainer's uh, career. You've got your great ones, etc. And I'm sure many, many more to come. But I can see the light in this uh, victory. Yeah, yeah. I was. Um, she's a such. She's a, She's an awesome horse. She's got such a great temperament. You know, we we, we enjoy them. Um, this like some people enjoy people and others don't. There's some horses I love and some I don't. <laughs> like they got they different. Yeah. You know, we humans are different and horses are different. And she's just such an angel. She just does everything you ask her to do. So yeah, I'm happy. And also, Rakesh is a great, great guy to train for. It doesn't put one day's pressure on you. Always easy to talk to when you want to try something. So yeah, I'm super happy for those. I'm super happy for Rakesh. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much to Jan and uh, thank you very much to him. And of course, the confidence gave us and uh, the the, the uh, delight is very, very obvious. Plain to see there. So that is the safe passage through the first leg off the first the jackpot a good day for him it seems to get better now it can foster novo see how the trip obviously he wouldn't put it in the horse if he didn't think that there's a chance that 1800 meters was in it was within its reach last time we liked it at a term in a few weeks back over the shorter trip let's see if uh, this extension and trip may just be what the doctor ordered that is race five first leg of jackpot two